Well, folks, what's happening in this country at the moment? On the back of all those t Tory cronies making absolutely millions on the, with the old PPE scandal where they were supplying this, that and the other for exorbitant amounts. Often they wasn't even supplying it and often the quality was no good. But they were all friends of members of parliament, so they all got lucrative contracts. We now read about somebody who is this boy, the old uh, caravan salesman um, and taxi driver who's making absolutely millions now on the back of the migrant crisis. Absolutely millions. Bins will have to go on again because I'll have to read you this. Now, I'm not saying he's a Tory um, crony. You know, he probably supports them because he's, he's making a lot out of them. I'm not saying that's what he was, but he's certainly been uh, well looked after by the governments over the last sort of 15, 20 years with the migrants. Guy's name is, what's his next caravan park boss? Graham King, 56-year-old. He personally pockets about £25 million in the last 12 months. That's his profit on the £500 million that his company has turned over. He's pocketed 25 mil himself. 25 mil. And all he's doing is he's buying hotels overpriced, paying too much for them, because he knows he can get them filled up with the, these contracts. He's changing them, the occupancy, so he can get as many migrants in as possible, in any kind of conditions possible. That doesn't matter. He's not interested in that. Loads and loads of money at the government. Everyone's a winner, other than the migrants and the town folk who do what, don't want them there. Yeah, in 2021, he turned over 500 million. It might be more since then. But you're hearing stories of lack of heating and water for facilities in these places. There's stories of scabies, of rats running around, very, very poor food, uh, electrical sockets all broken, loads and loads and loads of different things in the press that all point to the fact of he's getting them in dirt cheap and doing nothing to upkeep the buildings and to feed them decent food. But as I say, he's happy because he's coining it. It's unbelievable, isn't it, eh? It just, you know, he's not going to mind how many boats come over with the migrants in. He's not going to mind how many get killed on the way. Was it, what was it, six more yesterday, all hanging off dinghies? Um, sinking them and then dying in the process. No life jackets, no nothing. It's absolutely crazy. Until the British and the French start something out, it's going to carry on. But old, was it Graham King? It's great. Yeah, Graham. He'll be happy enough, won't he? He's sorted for life now. His kids are all at private schools. They're all a DNA there and everywhere. It's absolute madness. It really, really is. People profiting out of other people's misery. But our governments are letting them do it. Our governments are sorting out the blueprint for it. Crazy, isn't it? Absolutely crazy.